today's math learning intention is to read the time to the half hour on analog and digital clocks. Okay, year one, for the last couple of days, we have been looking at what we call an analog clock. That is this clock here, and it's like a typical clock that you might see on somebody's wrist, a watch, like my watch, or um, in our classroom, we have one of these. You might have one of these in your home, and we also might see one of these maybe on a clock tower in a city centre or somewhere like that. Now, we have our analog clock, which looks like this, but we also have something called a digital clock. Now, a digital clock looks like this. Can you see how different they look? Now, these two clocks say the same time. We've got minute hand on 12, which means it's on the hour, hour hand on nine, which means it's exactly nine o'clock. And if you look at the digital clock, it says exactly the same thing, however slightly different. It says nine dot dot or colon zero zero. Now, this part here before the dots tells you the hour. And this part here after the dots tells you how many minutes past the hour. So if these two numbers both say zero, which suggests that it's zero minutes past the hour, you can see that it's exactly nine o'clock. No minutes have gone by yet because it says nine zero zero. Now, what do you think will happen if I were to change my analog clock so that it moves forward by half an hour? Firstly, make a prediction as to where the minute hand will end up if I skip forward half an hour. If you said it would land on six, you're absolutely right, because remember, it's a half turn to signify half an hour. Let's go back to my digital clock. Make a prediction. What do you think it's going to say? Well, the number before the dots will still say nine because it's not yet past the hour of 10 o'clock. But what do you think the two numbers after the dots will say? How many minutes will have gone by in half an hour? Okay, if you said 30, you were absolutely right. Now, remember, we did this on Monday. Every increment on a clock means one minute. Every increment between the hours means five minutes. So, can we see how many minutes are in half an hour by counting in fives? Count with me. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. There are 30 minutes in half an hour. So if there are 30 minutes in half an hour, how many minutes do you think there are in one hour? Remember, one hour will be two lots of half an hour. Half an hour plus half an hour makes one hour. So what do you think double 30 is? If you said 60, you are right. There are 60 minutes in one hour. So have a look. 9.30. We can say half past nine or we can say 9.30. Now, if I stay on my digital clock and I move forward by half an hour, what time do you think it will say? What's another half an hour from 9.30? We can do some maths here. If you think what 30 plus 30 is, we've already said it's 60, but when we look at time, we won't say 960, because whenever we go back to 60 minutes, that's a new hour, isn't it? So what time do you think it will say if I add half an hour onto 930? 10 o'clock, plus another half an hour, 1030, plus another half an hour, 11 and notice how this changes too. It says 11 o'clock plus another half an hour, 11.30, have a look. My digital clock has also changed, 11.30, 12, 12.30, 1, 1.30, 2, 2.30, 3, 3.30 and so on.